Ever Tick Clock by Adam LeBron. Okay, well, you've got the maid, have you? Um. What did she say? Um, she didn't like working here, it's creepy. That's pretty much it. Okay. <laughs> there doesn't seem to be much going on there. Read the Ever Tick Clock one. So, Adam. Oh, fucking hell, which one's Adam? Jesus uh... Christ. Dan's father. Right. And the son of Gordon. Okay. Right. Gordon's alive. Gordon's Hopefully. alive! Actually, no, he's not. He went to his fu- we went to his funeral, or someone did. Okay. Oh, God. So it's a man's voice. Yeah. How do you do a man's voice? Uh, just try and do your own voice, but deeper. <laughs> you cheeky fuck. <laughs> 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 Under the waters of the gloomiest mires... A shaded clock ticks under the gloomiest trees. The bottom of the clock, orange-tinted wood, exotic in the shallow pool of moss-covered roots. The top of the clock, gold-bordered metal, a rusted point piercing on the water's mirrored face. Under the waters of the gloomiest mires, a tick may be heard, a faint source of life. The minute hand creeps over the overgrown curvature, the hour hand cannot. It is frozen on 12. In the middle of the clock, a gold-bordered panel, a jar from the menacing black murky currents. Under the waters of the gloomiest mires, some gears may be seen inside the clock. Rusty and limp, bent at sharp angles, the gears somehow meet, still turning and turning. Counting the time of the gloomiest still, they govern the gloom of the gloomiest mires. It's a bit of a poet then, was he? (laughs) Well, yeah, he didn't know it, probably. Uh, Is there a clue in this poem? I don't know. I think if you look above you, there's a giant clock on the ceiling, right? And me jumping on these things changes the time. Can you see? So oh. watch, if I jump on this, it'll move the clock forward and change the time. Gotcha. So that looks like it moves forward two, and this one looks like it moves forward three. Right. And by the looks, what I'm actually doing here is making all these come out. So now I need to hit that green one. See, watch, it's a bit of a difficult puzzle because if I hit this, the purple one will go in. And then if it hits again, the big green one will come out, watch. There you go. Right. So it's, you see the green one here? So I need to basically make this clock go round and round and okay. hit the right colours. So the colour that's not showing at the moment is purple and also, like, grey, I guess. That sort of weird-ass weird, colour, whatever weird, that is. I guess it's this one here. Grey-green thing. Looks like I need to do a couple of laps. So let's just try doing a couple. So that's hit the, that's hit that one. This is weird, isn't it? So if I hit two, I'll push that one out. Then two to get the purple. And then two to get the green. Oh my God. Ah! <laughs> Amazing. Well, there you go. So what did that actually do? Puzzle solved. I don't know, it made a dingling ding sound. So must have done something. Uh... Did you get anything in your inventory? Oh, well, no. Oh, hang on. I can see a coin. Look. Ah! There's a coin here. It's hanging. Third ancient coin. Da, 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 da. Oh, my God. So we've got first, fourth. And second. Second. So we've got four ancient Third. coins. How many are there? Yeah, I've got all the ancient coins. I've got four of them. And they're more than four. Ah, that's a good point. There might be more than four. Well, there were... F- I guess that if you start with the fourth one, maybe they're on. They're all slightly different colours as well, which is nice. Now, what do we do with those? Um, so we've got a button from the mirror room. Yeah. We've got a button and four coins. We've got four coins. Um, we've been... This is the attic, I guess, so is it only the creepy basement left? Hmm. Oh, my God. Do you reckon they go in the um, the, the keyhole thing? Um, to go into the basement. I don't think because it was you get it, get to it from uh, outside in the garden. If that was a keyhole, I reckon we need a key for it. I don't think these these are one key. It was be... you might be thinking too logically. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe maybe we missed something in the mirror room. Actually, I just want to double check. I didn't miss anything. Yeah, but... it's probably worth checking. Maybe hmm. there's arrows on that side. Oh yeah, there is. Look, there's arrows. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. There's right. arrows on Hang the on. mirror, but Fuck. not in our room. 
Oh, so the arrows tell you where to put the button. Yeah, in the they're reflection. telling us to put it on like this. Right. Okay. This light here for some reason. A strange place for it, but. Mirror room. Hello. Okay. Uh, so yes, it's the arrows. You see the arrows on the mirror there, in the back. Ah. So it's the far one here. Yeah. I just assumed that we'd have to. Okay, let's open the hole. With right. nothing in it, maybe? Okay. Maybe we have to turn the lights off. Oh, hello, there you go. Look, 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 look. Uh, oh my god, and oh my god! Oh wow, you're in the mirror. I'm in the mirror. Oh my god, it wasn't a mirror after oh, all. Oh, it's not a real mirror. Oh, this is fucking creepy. Oh my god. Deep green gemstone. Oh. Masterpiece by Adam LeBrew. There you go, you can read that. That's the dad. Oh god. Hey dad. Oh hey dad. Lifted to the heavens with great care, a red handled brush thin as a hair. The brush which twirls, the brush which makes a masterpiece at a snail's pace. Just then a click, the carelessly scratched record skip. Furiously turning, the clock hands scream, sending agony thus to the artist's dream. Okay. okay. Yep. Bit of a poet, isn't he? <laughs> Adam, yeah, he likes, <laughs> likes, his, uh, likes his poets. So I've got all on here. Ease the pain by Adam. Oh, God. Dad's been dead for a year. We moved in ten months ago. Nothing has changed much as far as I remember. Everything is still oh. here. Holy shit. Dad always had strange ideas nice. of interior design. It's comforting in a way to be home. It's familiar. Emily doesn't like it much here. She refuses to sleep in the bedroom with me. Oh. Another fam old familiar thing, sleeping alone in this house, oh. like a child again, all alone at night. Nothing oh. has changed, and I can still feel Dad here. I like it. It softens the pain. That's oh. creepy. So, Ava's birthday by Emily. Oh, God. Today was Ava's 12th birthday party, and I'm scared. Each year we invite all of Ava's close friends and have dozens of outdoor festivities. However, it was only Ava and I this year. Wow. She had yet to make any friends. Oh. Just as everybody at her school pretends she doesn't exist, she's a ghost among the living. This afternoon, the strangest thing happened. We had no festivities this year. Instead, we decided to have a picnic. We walked to the nearby park, but there was this man. A tall and pale figure, dressed all in black, always in the corner of my eye. He followed us home, but never brought attention to himself. And then I never saw him again. I have a horrible feeling in my gut. We're being watched. Watched by darkness. It's the Slender Man. It's the fucking Slender Man. It is. It sounds like it. So, wow, we've gone around the houses a bit here, haven't we? Um, literally, around the house. Where the, the... What the heck is going on? So... This is a mystery wrapped in a... a oh, oh my God, I found a hidden... Have you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where are you? I, I don't know. You're close. I'm over. I'm right over here. Are we on the third Can you see floor my name tag? now? Uh, yeah. Or is it? F I can't remember. I don't know, mate. I'm right here, Lewis. H hello, Lewis. I'm right here. Hello. Follow me. Okay. I'll lead the way. <laughs> oh, you found a secret passage. Yeah, right? that's right. He's bloody painting. Look at this. Oh, God. Sure. Where are we now? Oh, God. Another... Oh, Simon, look. What? It's the code. Coins! It's for the coins. The coin code. Okay, so this is another book by Ava. Uh-huh. There are vines in the ceiling over my head. You can hear them laughing loud in the night. Every night in the ceiling over my head. They play in the ceiling over my bed. Sometimes they play tag. And sometimes they seek when the loudest of all over my head. They picnic and play through the night. 
not caring I'm trying to sleep here in my bed. They run through the ceiling over my head, then on through the house end over end. They run over the clocks, and on they go, all over the ceilings over our heads. There are vines in the ceiling over my head, making as much noise as they can. There's nothing I can do about the vines up above. No one can hear them, running over our heads. Ooh, it's scary, it's scary. Don't like over it. our heads. Don't like Cover our heads. Can you um, put the keys in? So these are hoppers here. If you throw them on the slabs, dude, I'm just, just finding some like hidden shit as oh, well. They should uh, fall through these slabs. Right. Okay. Onto the hoppers. Um. Okay. So I've got first, second, third, fourth. Right. Uh. Oh, should I do first first? Uh. Yeah. Sure. Oh, fake coin. So. There we go. There we go. Right. What are you doing? I'm replacing the fake coins in the item frames. No, there's hoppers underneath. Look, you throw it onto the slab. Are you sure? Yeah, and it will go in. So this isn't... You shouldn't be replacing them, no. Because then, then the wrong one will fall into the hopper by accident. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got all the fakes. Shall I just throw the fakes in? No, don't throw the fakes in. We need to throw the real ones in, you maniac. Oh, what are you doing? I'm just retrieving the real ones. Okay. Again. Now, do you know, don't get them mixed up. If they're good fakes, you won't be able to tell. Well, it's quite obvious because all the fake ones say fake coin ah. and the real ones all say, you know, real coin. But in real life, you might get them mixed up. You've got to be careful. So I, I just dropped them? Yeah. Oh. See, there you go. It works. Stuff falls through the slabs onto the hopper. It's clever. Oop. Oh, there we go. Holy crap. Oh, and another weird-ass bedroom. Oh, God, this just goes on, doesn't it? Place of My Own by Maid. Is this the maid's room? The design of this house confuses me. My room is on the third floor, not in the attic or the basement, as it's usual in a house like this. Just my luck to get a room as far from the kitchen as possible. Other than that, though, my room is quite nice. It's larger than I'm used to. I have a place for all my things. And I've got one of the only bathrooms in the whole house. The old man has also given me permission to use the library when I like. He seems like such a miser and like a crazy old coot. But he's quite nice, really. I sometimes find myself wondering how someone like him could have designed this twisted house. He's such a lovely man. Yes, lovely man. Is he? Yes. Okay, so take this Adam LeBraw book and read this as we descend. Oh, God, another fucking poem. Into the basement. Oh, no, I can't get by. This is the broken stairway. Oh, God, okay, I can't remember the name of these sort of poems. But this isn't the way. It's the one that uses... Ret uh, rep repetition. Uh huh. The ore is not right. The closet is grim. The closet is grim. The door is ajar. The door is ajar. The voices are empty. The voices are empty. The instinct is scared. The instinct is scared. Something is coming. Something is coming. Something is here. It's here to know. It's here to bring fate. Dan will become a son. It is now written. Fate works alone. The future is grim. Okay. Right. Well, that's... That's an interesting one. What Bloody the hell. Oh, and down the stairs is where the... um. Oh, you can't... That looks like the stairwell, doesn't it? To... Where you... Where we think that we... Yeah. But it's hmm. sort of blocked for some... Oh, there's another hidden passageway, though. Is there? Yeah. How do you keep finding these? You just jump into uh, the paintings now and again to see if any of them have got, like, hidden things. Here we are. Look. Wow, really? Oh, my God. What the hell is this? So, look, there's arrows. This arrows. way. What's this all? This way. Music for... Hello. What is going on? Are you trying to jump in all the paintings? Uh, the attic. Oh, this no, is the attic. Probably should be, but what? 
Okay, this is weird. Right. Hello. Oh my god. Well, this is weird. I'm going up. Oh god. Very dusty. It's going to be books. Oh. Hmm. There seems to be some weird sort of brown remains that are just question mark, question mark, question mark. Hmm. I found a shadow in shadows by Adam Lebrow, the poet who doesn't know it. Oh God. A shadowy man walks in the shadows, contained in a world of night. A shadowy man tells me a secret. Tomorrow is here, and tomorrow we die. The mother she cries at the shadowy man. All lies, my son, don't listen. Tomorrow won't come and there's light in the shadows. You see, my son, don't listen. But the mother was wrong <gasps> about the shadowy man. For tomorrow she rose and died. What? I've got the basement key. Aha! And I've got um, another poem by Adam Lebrow. It's called A, B, C, D, E, A, T, H. So it's A, B, C, death. <laughs> <laughs> if you're still watching this uh congratulations please um email the yogscast and we'll we'll send you five pounds <laughs>